learning will not be part of the back to school plan for another big borderland school district. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasia Paloma. Socorro ISD officials presented their back to school plan to the Board of Trustees tonight during a regular meeting. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields was monitoring the meeting. She is live in the newsroom. So the school board unanimously approved the plan presented by the district, which did not include any plans for virtual or hybrid learning. The district says the plan was developed with the community members, stakeholders, and health officials. The district says it used the input from 65 community meetings and over 1,500 community participants to develop the plan. In the 2021-2022 school year, students and staff will have the option to wear face masks. Temperature checks will not be done regularly, but the schools will continue monitoring how students feel and contact tracing. Hand sanitizing stations will stay and PPE will be available upon request. SISD says despite a survey showing 41% of enrolled students would choose a virtual option, the district can't offer that because it was not approved by Texas legislature. Clarification, since it did not pass, we can't offer virtual learning even if we wanted to, is that correct? Thank you, Mr. Najera. No, we cannot. Now, classroom sizes will return to pre-pandemic sizes, but some distancing between three to six feet is recommended depending on the room capacity and risk. Hands-on, collaborative, and interactive learning will return, but students will all continue to each have their own devices. And the district plans to implement programs to make up for learning loss during the pandemic. Also returning extracurricular activities like athletics and clubs in the first day of school for SISD is on August 2nd. For the full back to school plan for SISD, you can find that on our website, KTSM.com. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much. And the other two big local districts have already